Hi, this is Solo Over 50. I am in my new gear room that I'll show you on another video, but for today I'm opening up my new Sea to Summit mattress. Last year, after many months of training and planning, a wonderful 50 mile trip up the North Shore and the Superior Hiking Trail, for which I have a video on, I had to cut my trip in half because my Thermarest ProLite, which I've had for 10 years, was a, an equipment failure. I'm a side sleeper, so I had a lot of pain in my shoulders, and my hips and knees were really bruised. So I actually had to stop my trip halfway through because my mattress failed. And it's 10 years old, it served me well but it was time to get something that was more comfortable and technology has changed so much in 10 years. I knew I could get something much more comfortable and have the lightweight that I was looking for. And quite frankly, I was willing to sacrifice weight in uh, for the comfort and for just to be able to sleep. So here is my new mattress. This is my brand new Sea to Summit Comfort Plus insulated regular sleeping pad and it's a rectangular. It comes in at a whopping 1 pound 13 ounces. So I'm just bringing less food and carrying a little less water this year, <laughs> looks like. Okay, let's open it up. Might be the last time I ever see it like this because I can never get them back into the stuff sack, but we'll see. Repair kit. It's a really, really pretty red color. The thing about this is that it has two sides to the mattress. The bottom side is uh, strictly for protecting from the ground, uh, rocks, roots, that type of thing. And then the top side is inflated to your comfort level. So if you want to have it uh, much softer or firmer, you can do it, um, you can adjust that through this top valve. I also got the Sea to Summit Airstream pump sack. It's a 20 liter dry bag, so it serves as both a pump for the mattress as well as a dry bag. So dual purpose and it works great. So here we go.
Okay, so it took about um, two puffs, two to three puffs of air into this bag, and I'm sure that I'll get much faster at it but once I get used to it. I would guess that it would take me approximately one minute to blow up um, both sides, if not less. So, so let's see how long it takes to empty this mattress. It's actually self-deflating, which has got to be the most fascinating technology I've seen when it comes to these mattresses. That is so great. I love that. Hi, I just wanted to show you close up what these valves are like. The top valve is what you open up and there's no air coming out of this right now. And this is what you attach the bag too when you're wanting to put air into it. You just take this and place it in there and then you fill your bag with air and once you detach it there's no air coming out of it. But if you decided that you wanted your mattress a little bit more comfortable, this is the top side, you know, if you decide you want it a little softer you would just press this little orange button in there and that will let the air out. And it's the second tab here that you open up in order to let the air out. The only thing left to do is to fold it up. I'm going to see if I can get it back into its Here's the true test. Did Cedar Summit make it so I could actually get it back in its own bag? And the answer is yes. For the first time in the history of me owning mattresses, I was able to get it back into its own stuff sack. Thank you so much for watching.